qualitative analysis. Okay. The first one are text analyzers. Okay. Um, the first that I will be sharing to you is the so-called text analyzer utility tool. It's a free software which allows you to find the most frequent phrases and frequencies of words. Non-English language texts are also supported. Let's say, for example, if if you have a uh, German uh, German text there, um, the the system can also automate. It also counts number of words, characters, sentences, and syllables, and also it calculates the lexical density. Maybe our linguist can assist me explaining what are those uh, details, specific details of the parts of the text. No. Okay, I'll open it just like this. I think it's opening. And then, assuming this is my abstract, copy, and then paste it here, and then process. When you process, you will see here, this is the result. Number of characters, one, two, five, four. Number of characters without spaces, number of words some top phrases, and so on and so forth. So normally, for research like this, there is really processing pa. Hindi siya yung automatic na, automatic pag similar content yun na at siya yung gagawa ng interpretation. Hindi, wala pang technology na ganun, gagawa ng interpretation, not unless you will make a research out of your data. But if you will say like a template and then automatically will create, no, because it really depends on the the database, no? Uh, kung baga corpus of the database of text uh, in a particular uh, text um, problem, okay? So this is an example. You can do that. Uh, if you wanted to know how many characters, how many syllables, how many sentences, how many, what are the top phrases, this is a good start, especially like if you wanted to find the, the keywords or the category of the themes uh, based on the open-ended questions. So you can use that, which among those words, no? But again, it is like only based on the text. It will not read on the content. This is only a text analyzer. Okay, so just paste it there. Another one that uh, is the Boyan tools. This is a little bit, let's say, more comprehensive compared to the utility. It's a simple free online tool for SEO web content analysis that helps you find most frequent phrases and words, numbers of characters, words, sentences, and paragraph, and estimated read and speak time of your content estimated read and speak time of your content so for example this one open it here i will paste my ups my abstract this is the draft and then analyze passage oh so there is a visualization it's called word cloud and these are the words the frequency of the word and the percentage like the word data appeared six times the word privacy appeared five times and this is the percentage no and then uh, estimated speaking time if i am going to speak that uh, the estimated is one minute right? I normally do this, count this, especially if the mga conference, if I have a script and then mid sa online kasi stick to na yung flow, no? you are only given like uh, two minutes recording. So when I prepare my opening remarks, welcome, welcome remarks, message and everything, uh, I normally write it and then run it here. Ah, three minutes. So enough pa with the allotted time given to me. <laughs> kasi meron ng makapag-estimate ng speaking time for that particular passage. Then there is a data visualization that you can do. No? How many spaces, how many paragraphs, 12 sentences, how many punctations. This is a good start actually, especially 
especially if you go mga if you do open ended questions no and then try to do some content analysis again hindi hindi ito yung tipong when you run automatic lalabas yung what is the theme ganon it's just simply count that is why it's called um a a what is this a content analysis no uh, the most frequent words uh, phrases number of characters sentences paragraph and the estimated read and speak time of your content another is uh, this buoyant another is uh, word and phrase the word and phrase naman is an online text analysis tool that has a variety of capabilities for analyzing text. Text can be copied and pasted, which is the corpus. The data is from the corpus of contemporary American English. And the tool will first highlight all the medium and lower frequency words in the text and create lists of words. Secondly, the words can be clicked upon to create word sketch of any of the words. No, and then finally, the tool has the ability to conduct powerful searches on select phrases and show related phrases. So I will demonstrate and then you can open. I am opening it now. Okay, I can put my abstract here. Oops. Copy. And then search. So data protection, C list, uh, frequency words, 194, 62%, 22%. You can click. Okay, and then you will see all those. Let's say, for example, protection. Uh, that is the definition. And then similar words to that is guard, safety, security, and so on and so forth. So again, if you wanted to do some text mining or text analysis, it's a good start actually. Although na I give may mga may mga tool talaga to handle that. But uh, for the level of mga social scientists and uh, um, mga quantitative type of study, this is a good start. No, um, if we don't have access to Invevo or some other mga qualitative type of uh, tool that can analyze. But uh, um, ako in my case, um, sa we have some open-ended questions in our survey questionnaire. That is the time that we do that we do or utilize existing mga word analytics tool, no, or text analytics tool online. That um, no more programming at all. No? We can, I mean, para efficient, and then you don't need some programming programming ability for you to be able to come up like this. Okay. And then, if you wish to look at many some of the list of text analyzer i'll just give this to you there are many lists that many of the social scientists can can work that is a list of free and available text analyzer okay the next one is sentiment analyzer this is to find what is the sentiment based on the text so some of the example is this one So sentiment analyzer. So for example, you are collecting um, like what is their sentiment about the implementation of MECQ in Dumaguete? No? And then you can actually harvest all the data from the social network. And then you can put all the text here. So for example, this is this is the comments. You just place it there and then classify. And then the system will tell you, oh, it's a positive result. So sentiment over time, and then sentiment per topic. So the result is 97.7 positive, meaning the passage, the text that you process, that is in positive. 
yung mga simple ano yung simple let's say comments and feedbacks of a certain issue that can be done here let's say um, what they feel about the implementation of MSCQ. as long as you have the entry you have the data you can actually do some article about it using the sentiment what is really the general sentiment of the people there are only three here positive negative and neutral result i mean negative they they have a negative feelings and emotion towards that neutral and so on and so forth so i'd uh, i drop down there another one is another tool Oops. Back to our side. Mm, okay. Okay, there's no question. You can sign up actually for free. And let's sign up. But, uh, it's basically similar, but it's a more comprehensive one, just like this. Uh, they have some categories like what is the intent instead of getting the sentiment. Uh, there is a an interpretation of every sentence, no? just like what I'd show on the text analyzer. It's actually a combination of text analyzer and at the same time, at the same time, a sentiment analyzer. Uh, my free actually ito um yung yung pricing part is if you want uh, a more sophisticated uh, analytics with all the api that you can integrate into your system or into your web but if manual entry lang you can use this okay another is this one This is what you call AI sentiment. Like analyze sentiment for free. You just click that. Um, you have to create an account. How many accounts you have now? Okay, so just like this, and then you can create, say for example, new project here. I wanted to look at about those sentiment. It's really more on the branding, especially if you are into the business side, more on the enter the brand, the competitor, or the hashtag to monitor. If you are familiar with hashtag, like like the 